I'm also going to be assessing for any signs of distress, checking for the color of the baby, checking their um, respiration status, and checking to see their movement, and um, then checking their vitals, which heart rate 128, normal would be 120 to 160. Respirations is 48, which would normal is 40 60. Systolic blood pressure is 88, which is normal between 60 and 90. The head circumference is 14 inches, which is normal because it's 13 to 15 inches. Weight is 8 pounds, which is normal for a female, um, which is normal being 6.6 6 6 pounds, 4 ounces, to 8 pounds, 14 ounces. And the length is 20 inches which is normal for this baby too because the length should be 19 to 21 inches. We're also going to be, um, <clears throat> so that's going to be how we're going to be assessing the size of the baby and the mature, maturity of the baby. And then their temperature was 99.2, which is um, normal because normal is 97.7 to 99.5. <clears throat> so the next I'm going to be assessing the skin. So I'm going to be looking at the color of the baby's skin. Um, and then I'm also going to be looking for any vernix or lanugo, which is going to be on her back side. And I'm going to be assessing for their perfusion with a cap refill, injected for modeling. I'm going to be assessing for any rashes, masses, lesions, or any kind of birthmarks. And then for the head, I'm going to be assessing for the size and the shape of the head, um, as well as the symmetry. And then I'm going to be looking for any swelling with edema or hematomas, and I'm going to be assessing the fontanelle, the anterior fontanelle, the posterior fontanelle, making sure it's not bulging or um, depressed in, and I'm going to be feeling the different sutures, just making sure they're not overlapping. And then I'm also going to be testing their face for symmetry with them um, calm and with them crying. For the eyes, I would assess with a red light reflex making sure that there's no signs of leukocoria. I'd also be assessing their pupils um, for adequate um, dilation and constriction. And I want to be looking at the sclera and the conjunctiva and making sure there's no discharge or excess tearing. I'm also going to be assessing the size, shape, and position of the eyes as far as how far apart they are to check for any kind of telarisms. I'm also going to be assessing the position with the slant, looking at the epicanthal folds. And then for the ears, I'm going to also be looking at the size, shape, and position. I'm going to also be looking for preauricular pits and tags. And I'm going to be looking for canal patency. Okay. For the mouth, I'm going to be looking in there and I'm going to have a tongue blade and I'll be looking back. Um, looking for any clefts of the palates, I'd have to palpate the soft palate for a cleft. And I'd be looking at their uvula, um, their gums, their tongue. I'd be looking to see if they have a short frenulum. And I'd be assessing their suck reflex. And for their nose, I would be looking at their size, shape, and position of their nose. Looking for um, patency of the nares. And assessing the philtrum to make sure that it's there. For the neck, I'm going to be assessing range of motion. I'm also going to be looking for any masses or lesions or any webbing of the neck. And I'm going to assess the clavicle and make sure it's intact and stable. We're going to be then going to the chest to um, assess for any signs of respiratory distress. We'll be assessing the chest wall, um, making sure there's symmetry and checking for the chest wall motion. Assessing the sternum and the nipples, looking for the location and number, as well as discharge. And then I'm going to listen to the lungs. So I'm listening to four quadrants. I'm also going to listen on the back side of the baby. And to listen for the heart, I'm going to look on the back side of the apex. And I'm going to look at right upper sternal, left upper sternal, left lower sternal, and the apex. And I'm going to be checking their femoral pulse. If it was abnormal, I could check the brachial, um, radial, or pedal pulse. 
And then for the abdomen, I'm going to be looking to see look at the protuberance of the belly and looking for any hernias, especially umbilical. Looking at the umbilical cord, making sure I see three vessels, two arteries and one vein. And then I'm going to be um, also taking the abdomen, listening for the bowel sounds. Now four quadrants. And I'm going to palpate the abdomen, feeling for any masses. And I'm going to be assessing the spleen, see if I can feel it, the kidneys, liver over here, and the kidneys over here. And then I'm going to be checking genital. So this is a female. So we are going to be assessing the, um, the hymen and the labia to see if we can see any deformities, um, looking for symmetry. We're also assessing the clitoris and the urethra, looking for any deformities there and any discharge. And then we assess for anal patency, which we need to have them have a bowel movement to assess for that. And then for here, while we're with the hips, so I do a Barlow's and an Ortolani's. And then I'm going to assess the um, Mobility and any deformities of the wrists, the ankles. Yes, I'm aware. I'm going to be checking the toes, the digits, the fingers. Um, looking for um, how, the number of digits and for any spacing with the webbing, any deformities there. <clears throat> and then be assessing the symmetry of all the extremities. I'm going to be assessing their back and spine. So I'm going to be looking for any visual deformities as well as palpating along the spine. And then I'm going to also be um, looking for any sacral dimpling or hair tufts. And lastly, for neuro, I'm going to be checking their um, alertness to see if they're crying or sleeping, how awake are they. I'm going to be checking for their tone and strength, lifting up a little bit. And then for our special tests, I can do the morrow's test to drop them and see if they startle. A rooting test to see if they're going to lean towards that side and stuff. And then I'll do this stepping test to see if they'd step. Um, and then I'd also want to check for the four extremities, which I checked with the wrists and the ankles during my extremities.